Now to Boston tonight, an emotional day at the Boston Marathon, two years after losing a leg in the bombings. That's Rebecca Gregory crossing the finish line, dissolving into tears. They lifted her right back up. Boston strong on display across that city today. The youngest victim, Martin Richard, his father, there with the winner of the women's wheelchair race, celebrating her victory. Tomorrow in Boston, the penalty phase begins for Jokar Sarnayev. And tonight right here, the argument from some of the victim's family saying his life should be spared. ABC's Tom Yamas in Boston. For many, the Boston Marathon is a milestone. For Rebecca Gregory, it's a turning point. This morning, posting this picture on Facebook, this is the day I take my life back. After losing a leg in the bombing, she learned to walk again, then to run. And today, that photo finish, falling to her knees, overwhelmed with emotion. Whatever is going on in your life, just don't give up because the finish line is a great place to be. Today, about resilience. But tomorrow, prosecutors begin their effort to convince jurors to sentence Jahar Sarnaya to death, something a growing number of his victims oppose. Patrick Downs and his wife, Jessica Kensky, who each lost a leg, telling the Boston Globe, we must overcome the impulse for vengeance. The Richard family saying it could bring years of appeals and prolong reliving the most painful day of our lives. And today, Rebecca Gregory joining the chorus. It's just bringing up all of this stuff and having to relive it every single day. And it, there's, there's no good that can come out of that. David, the marathon wrapping up just behind me. Federal prosecutors say they've been in constant contact with the victims and they understand their concerns. But they told me point blank today, they are pursuing the death penalty. Opening arguments start tomorrow. David? Tom Yamas in Boston for us tonight.